hey hi so now we will be building the our sts project whatever we have and uh, deploying it locally we will see it locally running locally and also deploy it uh, via jenkins not build it via jenkins not deploy it build it via jenkins in the next video we will be we'll be deploying it via jenkins okay uh, so let us kind of uh, build it it's a spring boot project so you can see it is building um, running good at port 5000 so far so good and the rest api is hyphen tailor uh, hyphen welcome um, so if i go and test localhost running at uh, 5000 hyphen tailor hyphen welcome that's it right so we are getting it so let me kind of uh, go and change it to let's say 35 save it is it done done done, done. right it should be done 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 whatever right who cares uh, done done our job should be done then whatever happens who cares right so here it is uh, at port 5000 uh, if i reload we get it right so it's all good working uh, building locally all good so if uh, so i have also made the changes to the source code right uh, uh, now i need to configure our jenkins so that uh, build happens there also so what i will do is i will go back uh, so this is our uh, this let me go to the back dashboard so this is our job right spring boot jenkins job so it, if you had been following from the past few videos we had successfully uh, connected our jenkins to the git right and also git client to the git uh, remote uh, server so both ways it is connected uh, now we need to kind of configure our jenkins so that uh, uh, we are able to build via this job so in here in this job if i configure it you can see uh, build environment is there okay not required build step let us add the build. once the source code is there once the source code is available we would want to kind of add a build step right so invoke top level maven target so that is what we have right in the previous video we had configured the maven path right so goal is goal is what i would want to run i would want to package my application right so that is uh, if I'm at the command prompt uh, for my project, I can always say MVN package in order to create a package for the application, right? Uh, in order to basically <coughs> for this command to run, um, for this command to run, C Apache Maven bin folder should already al al should already be added to the path variable should already be appended to the path variable in the environment variables right so which is already done I'm, I'm not showing how it is done because you will find find a lot of resource find a lot of resources to to show you how it is done so if i say i can run all the mvn commands in here so let me run one more command which is mvn clean which will clean the current uh, project right so which is cleaning all good Let it clean. So current project project is all clean. So you can see if I go to the uh, current project that is should be inside C documents workspace uh, Julie one dressmakers. You can see there is no target folder in there, right? So so far so good. Now I would want to use Jenkins to build it. So in Jenkins, what I have done is I have set Maven home apply and the goal i want to run is the package save that means it will package the application even in the workspace if i see uh, the target folder is not there because once the package will be created when the package command will run it will create a target folder which in turn will create a will, in which in turn will generate the jar file also so everything looks okay for now uh, now if i push the moment i will push so let, let me kind of uh, drag it a little bit on the right side uh, this job is open uh, this is over here let me bring it little bit over here right i would want we would want to see everything in single snapshot huh? 
and uh, it's over here. So let me say git add dot git st status. You can see modified this file. So far so good. Um, git commit hyphen m. What is it that I want to commit? I want to commit um, testing build via Jenkins. Okay. One file inserted. Now I can push. Right. So writing completed. So now you will see the build process has started over here. Right. The build process has started over here. You, If you want to go look a little bit into it, you can go inside in there. Um, this is the build which is running as of now. You can go in there, click on console output to see what is actually happening. So this is the same console output which you would see which in the command prompt which is over here if we would be running the MEN package, right? So if the uh, dependencies that is jar files are not there, then it would also download all those jar files. So you can see the build is success. And if you go and go back to the project, go to the workspace, see the target folder, the jar file created, right? So, so far, so good. Now it's the now in next video we will be taking this jar file and deploying it where to the docker and the way we got the output over here we should be getting the output by running the application by running this jar file in the docker also right so that's the next step let us see how it goes see you all in next video